Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, Tyler and Adim. Thank you all for coming back and thank you for staying tuned in for part two of our apartment search out here for in LA. We got a lot in store for you. There's only a couple more places to see and we're really looking forward to having you all take on the journey with us, so thanks. So this place is actually in Pasadena and um, Tyler's actually going to explain to you guys why we started to take a look in Pasadena but um, the apartment is really cool and it had a pool so I was kind of sold to be honest but go ahead baby you got it. Let me tell you about this. So the apartment is cute, the apartment is dope. Um, we were struggling to find somewhere within our initial budget of like 14 to 16 so we had to up mm -hmm. our budget a little bit and we were maxed out at 2k. So once we started, once we upped it to 2K, then it was like, oh, look at all of this nice stuff. Yes. Um, so I know doors started opening. Yeah, it was like the, the <laughs> heavens opened up. Like all of a sudden, we were finding spots and they were falling out of the sky. But I guess that's what happens when you ha have money, but we don't have money. And, yeah. But I that guess that was a force thing. Like we had to. Oh, do that. God, no. But it is a beautiful, beautiful apartment. Yeah. I was in love, truly. Love the closet space bathroom was cute i really thought it was like a cute first apartment like we're gonna move to la this is our first spot pool so this is a dope apartment this is called the orsini this is in la um, in chinatown oh i'm sorry <laughs> no you're right it's, still, I mean, it's la but it's in chinatown <laughs> <laughs> loud and wrong okay anyway um, so y'all beautiful, right? So this, this spot looks like a freaking resort. Okay. Yeah. It looks like a resort. If you've ever been in like an all inclusive spot out of the country, that's what this is giving the vibes. Okay. I swore I could even smell like the sunscreen water on the beach type smell. So phenomenal, right? Wait till you see the apartment. It's beautiful. However, let me tell y'all the truth. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me, let me, let me come, come here. So MC Deborah. M MC Deborah can tell y'all something, okay? Every time we say it, I'm so glad that she I love MC Deborah anyway. Um, also, MC Deborah, if you hear this, I stand and I love you, period. Anyway, so y'all, this spot was within the budget. Um, they had one bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms. Um, they're offering a move-in special. There's pools. This this little walkway here is their outdoor track area. There's a little like putt putt golf spot, um, outdoor volleyball, all of that, right? Dope, dope, dope. Um, and then you know it never rains in LA, so you can just sit outside anytime and play chess, checkers, whatever. Um, so let me let's get down into it. So the, the I'm trying not to cuss, but the the management here was some of the worst, most unprofessional people I have ever worked with in my entire life. And if you read the reviews for this spot, everybody will tell you from as recent as me to back to three years ago, their management has been absolute garbage, absolute trash. Yeah, pretty pool, right? A pool is a dime a dozen in LA, okay? Don't be hung up on that. Palm trees, a dime a dozen. So this is crap, okay? Long story short, they tried to swindle us out of $300, which did not even include the application fee. I had to go and fight and get my money back. I had to claw my money, like claw it out of their d dead hands. It was ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah, it wasn't a pleasant experience with them, but the property that they manage is really cool looking. No, do not even, uh-uh, screw that. Don't, <laughs> do not move here. I don't care how pretty it looks. Honey, you can find you something that looks just like this, and if not better, okay, for around about the same price. And it's very gutter price, yeah. bucket. It's very dingy, okay? The the staff, do you know the staff actually had the nerve to pop fly with me over the phone? It took everything in my spirit and in my being not to leap through that phone and grab that person by their neck. And I'm, when I tell y'all the Lord is still working on me because I have almost cussed 77 times already. But seriously, do not live here. I wrote them a nasty, seething review because this was the worst experience that I have ever had for, for a property that boasts all these palm trees and pools. They, they, that's how they get it, because they steal your money. And I am not the only person. Look at the reviews. They have stolen money from people time and time again. You have to fight to get your money back. Literally fight. So Because they make you pay a holding fee plus an application fee. So that's how they get you. And then the, the holding fee, you don't get that back if you choose not to live there. 
And if it's offered to you, if it's not offered to you, they're supposed to refund you your, your holding fee, which they never did for me, which I called several times, which I had to contact my bank. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. I could go on and on about it, but really what I want to do is fight. It, the, the, the love, the peace, the sunshine, the rainbows, all of that love wins. It goes out the window when people cross you like this. And that wraps up our apartment search video. Thank you all so much for sticking with us. And we actually ended up choosing the Whitmer place, <laughs> the one in uh, Westlake. Uh, it just worked out with our budget and it worked out, you know, with the in-between for where we work. So it was just, it just worked out for us. So uh, thank you all for tuning in. Once again, always like, comment, and subscribe. See you all next week.